start with kind of veterans tonight. I mean, you've got a lot of different contributions from various spots. What did you just like about that? Uh, yeah, the bench was great. Um, every every guy who came off the bench played well for us. Uh, Gary was everywhere uh, defensively and on the boards and um, you know three steals, kind of doing what Gary does. And I thought Andre was just brilliant tonight. Vintage Andre. Uh, and uh, you know, knocking down a couple threes, uh, but you know, his defense is still just world class. But uh, Otto was great. I mean, I I keep going down the list. So uh, huge contribution off the bench, and we needed it obviously with um, you know guys being out. What's the word on uh, Jonathan? I don't know yet. Uh, t- the only thing I heard was his uh, lower back tightened up early in the game, and I haven't had a chance to to talk to the training staff yet. Steve, um, what did you think about the game in general? And then what did you think about Draymond's performance? Uh, I thought it was a typical uh, return from the East Coast uh, road trip, long road trip, you know, first game back, time zone change, um, very little time to prepare, you know, day off yesterday that was spent uh, flying, flying back from Toronto. and. Turn around and you know, quick turnaround for a game. So it didn't surprise me that we were a little sluggish. Uh, I think um, it was no no surprise that Draymond um, looked like he had the most energy out there, given that he came back a few days ago and had a chance to uh, get some some rest and be in his own bed. Um, and uh, s- same with Andre and Otto. So, you know, all the guys you kind of expected um, who weren't on that on that Toronto leg of the trip. Um, I think they all they all really played well, but Draymond, you know, a triple double, just everywhere defensively, um, quarterbacking the team. He's uh, he's just having a phenomenal year. On games like this, when you say, like you said, the team was kind of sluggish, it seems Draymond usually tries to find a way to sort of pull him out of that. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I mean, he's he's our emotional leader, obviously, but he's just so good um, defensively. He finds a way to. Uh, you know, to get a block shot, to get a steal, to make the the rotation that that's, you know screws up the offensive possession, and then all of a sudden we're getting out and running and you know getting some momentum. So he just has a knack for it. He's been doing it a long time, and uh, I thought uh, Steph had one of the great turnarounds. You know, in the fourth quarter, um, he's he's got a knack for that. It's a really unique skill to be able to turn what. Uh, Frankly, it was a very poor game for him into a dominant fourth quarter. Um, very few people can can flip the, the, a game like that um, in the midst of, of a struggle. Uh, it takes supreme confidence to be able to do that. And uh, his, Steph's fourth quarter was, was um, fantastic. Two questions for you, Steve. First, Damian Lee, what do you think about his confidence as a shooter? Because sometimes he'll have those off nights, but he still comes back like the same guy. Yeah, you know, he he uh, he hit a little bit of a, a skid uh, over some recent weeks. I think, you know, he missed games with uh, the injury and then he uh, missed games, um, you know, when his son was born and, and it, it felt like he sort of lost his rhythm a little bit and he was uh, trying to find it over the last couple of weeks and I think uh, that Toronto game actually helped him even though we got blown out, I think, just to see the ball go in a few times and, and get a lot of playing time. It looked like he found his rhythm again, and tonight he was uh, he was great. And second, what did you think about Eric Hausen's new assistant, DJ Green? I thought DJ was really solid. Uh, his his hustle up and down the sidelines was, uh, was very impressive. And uh, he's got a lot to learn, though. He's a young guy, and we just got to give him more reps. <laughs> Draymond said, though, you do foster a family environment. Why do you want to make sure children and families feel welcome? Uh, you know, it's, um, I remember, I still remember when, when uh, my son Nick was a ball boy in Dallas one night uh, when I was playing with the Spurs, and, and Pop invited him to do it, and we flew on the team plane and was the ball boy, and it's one of the highlights of my career. So um, I, I, uh, Always remember that, and I always, you know, want to want to be able to do that for our players. I remember when Zaza's uh, two boys came on an East Coast trip uh, a few years back, and uh, it was um, it was just amazing to watch them 
blossom, you know, during the 10 days where they were scared to say anything, you know, on day one and then, you know, calling out first bus on uh, day seven at the end of shoot around, uh, trying to get the guys to, to head back to the hotel. So it's always fun to have, uh, have family involved. It lightens everything up and I think guys really enjoy it. Thank you.